Hey. Okay, how's it going? I'm back. Um, the plant is back. It's fine. It's not getting better, not getting worse. So for those of you rooting for the plant, wanting a plant update, I will keep you posted. Fingers crossed. Today, I want to share with you what I would do if I only had one hour and I wanted to get my next client. Um, you guys know that I talk about getting your daily non-negotiables in every single day and really focusing on the, the activities that you can do daily that bring profit. Um, I have a whole product called the Daily Profit Activities where I give you over 44 different ideas of things you can do every single day. You only have to choose four. Um, to do every day to grow and scale your business in under an hour. But sometimes you have almost no time and you might wanna to try to combine as many of these as possible into one activity. And today I'm gonna to share with you the, um, the thing that I like to do when I'm super short on time and I wanna get them all done kind of in one go. And that's with what I call the humble brag. This is my absolute favorite. Um, I try to do it once a week, and here's how it works. You can do this on Instagram stories. You can send this out in an email. You can do this however you want, whichever platform converts the best for you. You know, so you could do it Instagram video, whatever, YouTube video, choose, you choose the platform, but here's what you're going to do in the humble brag. Okay. So first thing you're going to do, let's do a little role play. Let's say I'm doing my humble brag and I'm doing it as an Instagram story. I might pop onto Instagram stories and say, Hey guys, I just uh, finished a call with one of my clients. Her name's um, Ashley, and she just had a really incredible month. She had a goal to have her first 10K month um, this month, and we're only halfway through the month, and she already hit that target. And I want to share with you a couple of the things that we did to make sure that she hit that target right away, because if it's your goal to have a 10K month this month, um, you can try some of these things and put them into place. So already, and let me stop here and break it down a little bit. Here's what I've done so far. Number one, I've shared about my client's success. This kind of looks good on me uh, because me and my client have worked together and she's hitting her target. So try to share about success that's happening in one of your um, clients or students realm, because what that does is it shows that social proof, right? So number one, I've done that. Number two, I've talked about the end goal or the outcome that um, my audience probably wants. I know that so many people in my audience want to hit that first 10K month. So I'm talking about how we actually got someone to hit that 10K month. Great, we're showing results of one of my students of your most profitable quarter yet. Then the next thing that I'm about to do is I'm about to actually share a few like real true takeaways that anyone can do um, so that my audience is getting nourished at the same time. So now I might give two or three um, actionable steps that someone could take or that my client Ashley has taken and put into place. So I'm going to share. Okay. So the first thing we did is we got, you know, inside MPQ, we got really hyper clear on what her schedule was because before we started working together, she was overwhelmed. She was doing so many things all at the same time. Um, once we got her schedule in place, she knew exactly what she needed to be focused on so that she could be even more productive and effective at hitting that 10K mark. She knew the only things she needed to focus on and didn't focus on anything else. Number two, we put into place an automation system so that um, while she was away from her desk and while she was doing other things on her to-do list, new leads were coming into her business system. And so she was getting some of those passive sales right away. So she didn't do, have to do as much work to hit that 10K month. So I'm giving people two ideas of what they could do. But what I'm also doing is kind of sharing a little bit about my process or the process inside your my um, program, your most profitable quarter yet. So you could sub that out for your program, your signature philosophy, whatever that is for you. So people are now, number one, getting ideas that they could go do themselves, but I'm not necessarily giving them every little step of how we did it, because that would be a super long video, but also, um, you know, that's something that takes a little bit more detail and um, strategy, right? So you wouldn't want to share that in the video, but it also gives them a reason to say, hmm, maybe I should reach out to Alyssa and find out how that works. And maybe MPQ, I should take that course and I should go through the steps of setting something like that up. 
So then as I'm rounding out this humble brag, I would say like, okay, so those are two of the things that we did. We also helped her do this, this, and that. If you're interested in auditing your systems and your goal is also to hit a 10K month, we're actually having free systems assessment calls this week. You can book one, set one up with our team, and we'll go through your system, see where you're at. And if you want to have similar results to Ashley, we can probably help you do that. And we'll find out if we can on this call. So swipe up to book a call. But otherwise, I want you to try those two things and let me know if those help you become more productive and get closer to that 10K month goal. All right, bye. <laughs> so there might be my humble brag. So there's a couple of things that I want to share with you about this almost as like disclaimers, because I think this is a really effective strategy, but there's a few things that I think could go wrong while you're doing this. First thing is make sure that um, what you're sharing, you have consent to share. So if this client Ashley was a real client, which she's not, I just made her up. I don't think I have any clients named Ashley, actually. Anyway, if she was, make sure if you're sharing about um, any of your clients' results or any of the strategies that your clients are using, you specifically have their consent first. Otherwise, you can kind of just say, hey, I was just talking to one of my clients and here's what's going on. If you don't share their name um, and it's your strategy, then go ahead and share that. Just make sure that you're doing it in an ethical way. <laughs> Um, there's a little bit of this that goes on on the internet that I don't totally feel comfortable with where you're almost selling somebody else's results um, without their direct consent. So that's one thing. The other thing that you want to think about is make sure you're talking about your actual process. You're not just sharing about success. So I think there's something going on right now in the kind of like girl boss world that's really just kind of marketing and selling thing, you know, successes that are happening to you. So if I was just showing screenshots of my um, bank account and stuff like that, that's not a humble brag. <laughs> that's just a brag. <laughs> Um, and I don't think that really has a place in daily profit activities. You can choose what you want to post on social media, but um, with this strategy, what you want to be doing is sharing something about your process and the results that it gets. So just don't get it confused with like, hey, I just bought myself these new shoes, <laughs> which I just noticed are <laughs> messily out in the background of the video. Um, but, you know, if I'm just like sharing about new expensive shoes I bought, that's not a humble brag. That's just bragging. So just make sure that you don't get this twisted. It's about sharing about specific um, strategies that you use or processes you use, depending on what niche you're in and the results that it gets specifically using a case study to prove the point that it's not just about you. And that's where that, um, that's where that really is differentiated. Make sure you're sharing about how this is working for somebody else, whether it's one of your clients or whether it's, um, you know, you could even do this by sharing examples of like pop culture or like examples just in nature or in the news or things like that and share. Here's why this is working because number one, what we know is that they've been doing intermittent fasting. And number two, we know that they've been eating more plant-based or I don't know <laughs> if you should like speculate on what celebrities are doing, but you could, let's just say that they've come out and said that. And you could share, here's why this is working. And this is also part of the process that I share with my students, blah, blah, blah. And so you can use this humble brag, even if you don't have any new clients yet, you can share about yourself if you want to, but again, just make sure you're sharing about your process and not just straight up bragging. But the thing that I love about this is that I'm growing my community. I'm, um, I'm actually nourishing because I'm sharing a couple things that you could go ahead and do. And I'm being transparent and sharing about the processes that we're using. And number three, I've made my offer and offered them a free systems assessment call which is a discovery call. And they can see during that call if your most profitable quarter would be a good fit for them. So I want you to try this. If you've ever done a humble brag, let me know below. And if you haven't, try it and then come back and comment and let me know how it went because I'm telling you, this is one of the most powerful um, profit activities that we have. It's one of my favorites. I try to do it once a week. And if you want to know the other 43, then I'll actually leave a link in the description somewhere around this video and uh, you can check that out. Okay. Chat with you soon. Bye.